A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all the donators of $5 or more. Dead Zirkling. Radio Raptor. And Vlad Tepish 3176. You all helped make this possible. Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Last time, we made it through the raw tree and saved the things contained within. Mostly just the tree itself. But so far, I have not checked out to see what all new things are around. One of the new things that is around is, I don't know, because the shop was here before. But I'm buying some more bulbs. Clearly, I need them. Hmm, maybe not as many as I thought. But, here's the thing. We can talk to flowers now. In case we wanted to talk to flowers. Among other things. The flowers are thanking us. We have their thanks. And... Did that snapdragon just bark at me? Oh. Also, I can swim. So, I can talk to all of them. And maybe... Some of them will have something interesting to talk about. Seems like I can not talk to everything, but a lot of the things. How about you? So we're getting some backstory, such as it is. Apparently the apocalypse happened suddenly. Well, there are no birds and animals. I'm working on it. I ain't got that far yet. Lots of things. This is a bigger area than I expected. Okay, that's a repeat. I did not mean to exit there. Oh no. I will talk to as many different things as I can get away with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although, I think that it's possible that flowers aren't as exciting as you had hoped. Talking about roots, which is probably what I was crawling through in that dungeon. Okay. Why were they locked in sleep? The path I take will be marked by plants. Ooh, and I've got a summon. Grass pen. Very good, very good. Let's just take a look and see what that does. No, don't remove it. Um, can I check it? Yes. Here we are. See, now we have a healing spell summon. Whether or not I'll be able to figure out how to use it effectively remains to be seen. Got anything else? Nope. Pretty much it. Ah, something about the North Continent. So, now we know where to go for birds, I guess. Um... Sorry. It's alright. Happens to lots of sentient flowers.
Um... Okay then. We'll get down, I suppose. Ah, an amaryllis. Of course. I think that mostly covers what there is to see in this area. So now, it's finally time to move on. Now, every time a massive change comes along, we want to recheck old areas. Because, while not always, sometimes they change. This didn't. But it could have, you never know. Now, I don't remember exactly how the summons work, but I think that you get them recharged when you sleep, I want to say. That might not be right. Kind of hard to tell. And this is still just, yep, just the portal. It looks like a cave on the map, but it looks different when you get there. Ah, see, now we can climb about. I got a bird for you. That's rude. There's no call for that. I should be nicer to helpful flower. Hey, a cactus! Yes, I have been told that it is the birds which are trying to awaken. Alright, let's just wander around, see if we can find any hidden spots on the map. For instance, uh-huh, see? That looked suspicious, didn't it? Two treasure chests with an M bulb and a buttload of cash. So, kind of glad I didn't uh, buy more M bulbs. Would have expected there to be some magic rock around here somewhere. There probably is, and I'm just not spotting it. And we're in Colorado, apparently. Ain't never been there, they tell me it's nice. Nothing out of the ordinary there. The next obvious place to go would be into some of these... Sanctuar. Not Sanctuary, but Sanctuar. And I can buy more stuff if I need it. How about you, Flower? What's a sad thing? Oh, so this is where the Paradise of Birds should be. Crying from the Stone Mountain in the north. Nope. A weight in one hand and shit in the other. Um, ooh, we've got a pyro ring now. Which is better than just a fire ring. But it also costs more magic rock. Oh, and this is how we can, um get more grass pins at the magic shops. I would like to actually... Okay, so that's definitely how we refill them. I will just um, get another one of those, because I will definitely need healing at some point. It would be great if there were somewhere where I could sleep and refill my HP. But... I don't think I'm in any terrible danger just yet. Alright, here we go. This area. Grecliff. How gre was my cliff? <coughs> it's a mystery. Oh! Hello, stone dude. Well... Ah, blast. I'm going to need to up my game if I'm going to avoid being super killed by soon guys. Luckily, I've got lots of healing items, so... Well, I'll use one if I have to. Don't think I won't. 
I think it's already been well established that I'm not shy about that. And I don't think I can go anywhere to the left, can I? I was just there, you'd think I'd remember. Yeah, this is a dead end, okay. We're getting somewhere, and I can't pick up that rock. In case you were wondering, now you know. Hit the stairs! Ah! Nice swing! I got too greedy. Ah, boulders. And... Little rocks! Uh-oh. I was hoping I could hit him... with a rock. Because hitting a rock with a rock is just the best. Yep, any minute now, gonna get a level up. Any minute now. I sure am. Do I go up here? So many places that I are able to be explored. Oh, this was a good call. A strength potion. <coughs> and if you'll recall, the potions are permanent stat increases, so might as well use them when you get them. Use it. Yeah! Or attack. Now I can explore the other way. Might even do something about that mud man. Haha, <laughs> dive! And... Okay. That was a bit of a disaster. I should probably do something about that. So here's what I will do. Why don't I try out that healing? Grass pin. I've got two of them, so let's use one and see just exactly what it does for me. You get a nice little overlay, and I'm completely healed, except now I'm not. Okay, it looks like these mudmen are going to be a huge pain in the ass, doesn't it? Now I've got to kill it. There. That's what you get. So, a pretty good, efficient use of my Majorock would be loading up on grass pins, but I think I can only carry, like, maybe three of them at once. Or something like that. I know there was a limit to it, I just don't remember exactly what the limit was. It would be broken if you could just keep getting more and more of them. Alright, birds. I don't know what I did to you, except they're not birds. They're the forms of birds who are transformed into monsters, probably. Ah. What kind of bird? An ass bird. Leap! Majestic leap! My hit points are going down fast. I will probably be finding some better armor and weapons, though, so... And that's where I came in from. Could have just swam right over here in the first place, but I didn't. I took the long route. Or the fool I... Okay. I'm immobilized because of that big ugly rockhead. I need to do something about that. Immediately. Well, round and round we go. More of these. I know I saw a treasure chest 
in a room back there, but I forget which room. But, um, just so we're clear, it wasn't this one. And I can't do anything here yet. I could climb up there. But where does that get me? To a whole other route, so I want to go back and explore the other option first. Uh, this again. Always with the immobilizing effects, this game. Alright. What if I go in here? There's a pit. I hate these freaking birds! And also, this is a dead end. So huge advantage to coming over here, clearly. I need more healing items. Yeah. Take that, crummy bird. Eat a spear. Eat all the spears. I do not like it. Nope. Eh, what you gonna do? And now I have no idea where I am again, but I'm definitely somewhere. Sometimes that's the nicest thing you can say about a place. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere, which is more than I can say for where I was, which was nowhere. All that for a magic rock. Oh, wait, no, there's a there's a door here. Let's go in. Let's find many exciting things, which I can't do anything about because I don't have the thing. What thing? The mega thing. You want me to say it? Yes. Thundercat outtake humor. Not the 2000s anime-style Thundercat, but the early 80s proto-anime-style Thundercats. It was a neat show. It had a lot of things that it introduced, like continuity in cartoon shows. I'm going to die. Aren't I? Not if I take my medicine. I'll just, um, get rid of these S-bulbs first. No, I shouldn't. I should use some M-bulbs, because that'll give me a bigger boost, and I'm also likely to find some in a treasure chest. Also, now we know that they restore exactly 70 points of health, which is not something I was cognizant of. Okay. All the way back around, I need to find... Either something to use for climbing, or something to break rocks. I know that both of those things exist in this game. And I think they both exist in this dungeon. I just don't remember exactly how to get there from here. You'll see what I mean. Can these things even be properly attacked? I don't even know. They're kind of a problem. Showed that thing who was boss. And the answer is me. I'm the boss. Not you. Not a big ugly head. Not an irate golem. Me. The Rosser Man. Hey, it's boulders. All right, this will get me some. It's a rock spear. See, a rock, R-O-C, is a giant bird of legend. And this appears to be made of the feather of one of those, but it also can be used to break rocks. 
so... I don't know. Or maybe they just didn't have room for the letter K. That's a more likely scenario. Occam's razor and all that. See, now I can go back around to that other place I was and break the rocks. The boulder rocks. Assuming I can ever actually move, and look how much more damage I'm doing. That is a huge boon. Boon! Seems like sometimes I can dive into those mud men and hit them, and other times I can't. I don't know what the timing is. I'll figure it out as I go on. There's a pretty good chance that that enemy will get reused at some point. Or that enemy sprite. You just wait till I'm able to walk again. Okay. Once more to the this way. I do believe I had to jump these pits. Could stand here and try to hit these birds all day. But at what cost? I ask you. Okay. Roundy roundy roundski. Let's find that opening in the rock face and do some rock crushing. I'll be crushing more rocks than the stage two boss of Star Fox. Booyakasha! That's what you get for being an inanimate clump of mineral. And I'll show you what you get for being an animate clump of mineral. If you ever pop back up, which you won't, you cheap bastard. The bird gets the spear. Everyone gets the spear. Especially you. Plenty to go around. The hell is that thing? Oh, it's like a pill bug that jump kicks, turns into a guy that jump kicks. A jump kicking pill bug? Okay. I'm intrigued. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something very pertinent. If I can't use magic on some boss fights, it would behoove me to use my magic before I use my items, because I can use my items on the boss fights. Strategery. What the hell is that thing doing? It's rotating on axes that the bugs ain't supposed to rotate on. I don't understand it, and I don't think he does either. Now he doesn't understand anything, because he's dead. Cactus, you got anything to say? I suppose not. Okay, what happens if I go down here? Get a Maturok. Cool. I'll take a Magirock. As many as I can get, and as often as I can get them. I think that weird spot on the cliff face back there is somewhere that I exit from. Hello! Okay, yeah, alright, I see what's going on here. Subtle as it is, we're playing the pinball game. Let's try... R oh, apparently I can't go right. Fine, let's go left. You wanna go left? I'll go left. Let's do it. Let's go left. There. You happy? I should have gone right after I went left. But I got another S-bulb. <laughs> Just what I needed. 
Now where? Here. Where's here? This is back at the start, isn't it? No. It isn't. It's somewhere else. But where? Okay. We've got whack a mole going on here. How many of these guys do I have to kill? I hope it's not all of them. But I'll bet it is. Haha! Gotcha! You too. The whole lot is. I don't know if I get anything for this, but it seems too much like a thing to pass up. Okay, well I guess I don't get anything for killing all of those. Whoops. My waste of time and healing items. Okay, those rocks almost certainly will not fall beneath me as I run. Uh, and they actually didn't. Oh, I bet those big ugly heads make them fall. Well, I'm an idiot. Certifiable grade A idiot stock. That's me. There is no getting around it. What you gonna do? Finally a level up. It's been a while since I've had one of those. Press your luck. Don't want any of those things a stompin'. Either they'll stomp and the rocks will drop, or they'll stomp and I'll freeze on the rocks and then they'll drop. Either way, not the eventuality I want. Oh no, I've disturbed the nest! But that's good, we wanted to disturb the nest. Speaking of disturbed, you know what? I have a plan. Hear me out here. It's not a very good plan and it might not work. But zappering! Oh. I kind of thought that was going to do something at all. Turns out it didn't. You know what? Let's just get this. Sharp claws. Anyway, the sharp claws are my climbing tool for this adventure. Don't hit me. Crummy birds. They're the worst. Um, oh, that's what the zappering did. It let me shoot electricity. That's neat. I didn't know it would do that. That's pretty cool. And now it's worn off, which is not cool. And I'm in desperate need of health. Which is even less cool, but I love that little clicky click of the climbing claws. Be a healing item. You are. Okay. So now, I can heal myself up. Which is good. Very good. We like it. Yes. For crying out loud, use it. Alright. But... We still have a long way to go in this dungeon, I think, or at least we still have a lot of things that I need to explore before we get to the end. So, I think that's enough for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>